Hey guys, welcome to How to Pass the Math FSA, the 5th grade edition. I'm sorry, when I was recording this episode, somehow the introduction got messed up, so I'm going to have to voice over it. But um, today we're going to be working on the following standard. It's maths.5.mbt.2.5, and we will be doing multi-digit multiplication using the standard algorithm, which is a fancy way to say the regular old-fashioned way that we multiply. So... Without further ado, let me teach ya. Okay, so here we are at example one. Example one is the only one that I will have to voice over um, for the other examples in today's episode. You will see me teaching it. Um, just like I said, the beginning, the intro got messed up. So example one says multiply 367 times 43. So you can see that over in the right hand corner, I have written 367 times 43, but I've written it vertically this time because that's how we solve it using standard algorithm, which is the regular old-fashioned way to solve a multiplication problem. So I've done 367 times 3 to get 1,101, and then I crossed out the 3 in the 1's place and add a 0 down below to then do 367 times 40, and I got 14,680. When I added those two products together, I got 15,781, and I recorded that into my equation editor tool. Now, when I wrote it, I put 15,000 with a comma there. For the equation editor tool, you will not have be able to do that, so just write 15781, and you're done. Buddy, we are on example number two. Yep, two. The product of the following expression is 36,112. The product is the answer to a multiplication statement. What is the missing digit? Well, I've got 592 times something here with one in the ones place. Um, so what I'm going to do first is estimate. I know that 592 is pretty close to 600, and I need to multiply by something that will give me something that's close to 36,000, so I'm going to guess something that's about 60, and oh, look, D says 6, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 6 to this and see if I get that product, and if not, I will adjust. All right, so 592 times, plug in 61. 2 times 1, 2, 1 times 9, 9, 1 times 5, 5, 0 to hold the place, cross out the 1. 6 times 2 is 12. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 1 is 55. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. 5 times 5, ugh. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 5 is 35. All right. So now I'm adding here. 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 1 is 11. 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. 6, 3, boom. When I plug it in, it works. So first you estimate, make a reasonable guess, and then plug it in and see if it works. Okay. All right, everybody, example three. Find the product. That means to find the answer to the multiplication statement. So we've got 42,123. And should we be doing our work horizontally? Nope, we need to do it vertically. So let's bring this 98 down here. So we're gonna do everything times the eight first, starting in the ones place. Eight times three is 24. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. 8 plus 1 is, I mean, sorry, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And why do I circle it? It's so I don't forget to cross it out later. That's why I circle the little numbers up there. 8 times 2 is 16. Circle it. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Whoa, this is a big number. Cross it out, cross it out, cross it out. Now cross it out. Now cross it out. Oh, okay. Zero to hold the place. Nine times three is 27. Nine times two is 18 plus two is 20. Nine times one is nine plus two is 11. 
this goes here. 9 times 18. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. And 9 times 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37. This is a humongo number. So I've got 4, 15, 10, 8, 12, 11. Whew, let me make sure that, yeah, that looks good. All right, so ones, tens, hundreds, comma, one, tens, hundreds, comma. Boom, got it. Now I gotta plug it into my equation editor, but there are no commas, so I just plug it in like normal. This is what you would input. One, sorry, four, one, two, eight, zero, five, four. And of course that stands for 4,128,050. Everybody, this is our last one, it's example four, and this is a graphic response item display question, which stands for, which the acronym is GRID. So, it says drag the numbers to fill each blank in order to complete the standard algorithm, there's that word again, for this multiplication problem. And of course, standard algorithm means the regular old fashioned way, like we've been doing. <clears throat> Um, so what I see here are missing numbers, and I need to just take the numbers and drag them in, but I need to know what those numbers are. So I'm going to solve it the regular old-fashioned standard algorithm way over here, and then I'll just notice what numbers I'm missing and plug them in. Sound like a plan, Stan? Let's do this. 427 times 64. 4 times 7 is 28. This is why you got to be fast with your multiplication tables, guys, because it's a lot. Never goes away. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So here I see it should be a 1. Cross it out, now cross it out, now cross it out. 0 to hold the place. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Oop. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So what am I missing? I'm missing my 2 over here. Add them up. 8, 0, 13, 7, 2. So I'm missing my 2. I'm missing... Oops. Forgot to do that. And 8. So I would just take them and go... Click on the 2, bring it here. Click on the 7, bring it here. Click on the 8, bring it here. You got it. You got it. Everybody, Ooh. before you go, probably go click on another video to watch, to study, because you know you will. Um, here's your motivational message. If your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. All right? Whatever your dreams are, they should get you outside of your comfort zone. Okay, think about a dream that you have, maybe what you want to be later on in life, maybe something that you want to accomplish before the end of the year. Okay, if it doesn't scare you a little bit, it's not big enough. Dreams are supposed to challenge you because when you go to the next level, you accomplish something and you're breaking through that fear barrier. So make sure whatever your dreams are, if they're scaring you a little bit, that's okay. They're supposed to. And when you come out on the other side, you will be so much stronger. So whatever that is for you, just remember, if your dreams are scaring you a little bit, you're on the right track. Because if they don't scare you, they're not big enough and you need to get some new dreams. Bye, guys. I will catch you in the next episode. What, what?